और बेटा आज रिजल्ट निकलने वाले थे ना कैसा हुआ बताओ बताओ सारा दिन मोबाइल में बैठा रहता है पढ़ाई तो करनी ही नहीं है तुम्हें ये क्या पढ़ा हुई ये करने में ज्यादा ट्यूशन नॉट यूजिंग योर फुल पोटेंशियल poem guys and that's nine gold medals by david roth and i am sure guys after today's session you will be really really amazed and you will the incident described in this poem is going to definitely touch your heart that's a promise okay so those of you who do not know me let me introduce myself i am shweta roy i am your english master teacher at vedantu and talking about my education and qualifications i have pursued my masters in english and b ed i have more than a year of teaching experience and i have also qualified ctet and mentored more than 20000 students both online and offline my motto is to unleash the power within you so guys i know each one of you are powerful so do you feel that par guys so trust me in today's session you will definitely feel empowered you will get the opportunity to ideate create innovate in today's session all right guys and in all the upcoming sessions as well so please put down in the chat box whether you feel empowered okay so let's get started and let me see the josh guys How's the Josh? Hi everyone. Okay, so we'll begin with word of the day given by Sassy Singh. Thank you so much for giving us the word. A big round of applause for Sashi. And the meaning is uh, the word is epo. What does the word mean? It means a particular period of time in history or a person's life. And she has also used it. the victorian epo that is the victorian period very very well done let me see your word of the day at the comment section in the comment section don't forget to do guys don't, don't forget to post your comments in the comment section and also don't forget to use this particular word in your own sentences chalo guys let's begin but before beginning hit the like button share the video amongst your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel do subscribe because we would be coming up with super amazing sessions only and only for you people homework rockers for the previous session sharma sharma madhu ronak uh, piyush and ajay 
a big round of applause people you people have rocked so guys now it's your turn to rock the homework session homework question in today's session don't forget to post your answers in today's for today's session in the homework uh, in the in the comment section theek hai bachcha buddy so get a chance to be the next homework rocker guys chalo this is the weekly schedule please take a note of the weekly schedule so that you do not miss out on any important session and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys okay so let's get started let's get started and i have an interesting riddle for you okay so this is the riddle you are in a dark room with a box of matches nearby are three things a candle an oil oh sorry an oil lamp and a log of firewood which do you light first think about it this is a riddle this is an interesting riddle let's think about it and let's discuss this at the end of the session so do not go anywhere guys we will be discussing this amazing session and let me check out how many of you have got the answer correct for this particular riddle okay so stay tuned and now this is going to be the session flow theme and the message of the poem poetic devices important question and answers along with the homework question so i would okay first let me begin before beginning of the session i would like to ask you one question how many of you uh, are sports lover how many of you followed the tokyo olympics this time give me a quick high five so this time guys the olympics was spectacular it was really really spectacular and i actually saw few marvelous incidents guys marvelous heart touching and heart warming incidents i would narrate two incidents which really touched my heart and i'm sure these incidents are going to also touch your heart okay so let's first describe the first one let let's first see the first incident a very heartwarming incident that happened in this tokyo olympics are you excited so let me see the excitement guys let's see let's rock in the chat please type let's rock in the chat and let me know how excited you people are so let's see the very first a very heartwarming incident guys on august 1 an incredible event took place at the olympic at the tokyo olympics so these two people um barsim barsim okay barsim of qatar and tamberi of italy okay they shared the gold medal for men's high jump oh my good god okay so this is something which is really really unusual sharing of the gold medal okay so both had uh, both had cleared uh, 2.37 meters but were unable to clear 2.39 meters bar even after three attempts right so now uh, the olympic officials they were they were discussing they came to discuss the modalities of the sudden uh, you know uh, modalities obviously to determine the winner so they were having this discussion as to who uh, they are going to claim as the winner and then the spectacular event took place when barsim uh, barsim i hope i'm pronouncing the name correct asked if they could share the medal and the official replied that this was definitely possible and the rest is history so isn't that a beautiful thing guys isn't that even really heart touching yes or no so the poem that we are going to deal with has a similar i mean uh, uh, that also has a very heart touching incident okay so guys let's begin the theme of the poem and understand what the poem has to say and suggest so in this world of competition guys even such as this sharing of a medal is something which is really very significant and teaches us a wonderful lesson yes guys that's what is true sportsmanship what do you think guys yes or no yes or no what is your view on this i told you that i promised you that you will feel empowered so yes you are empowered to express your views on this particular incident okay so please post please give your inputs here and now we will look at the mind map of the poem ready to check it out guys 
सो हियर इज द माइंड मैप ठीक है सो फर्स्ट इज द मैसेज ऑफ द पोम ऑब्वियसली काइंडनेस इज द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी इट इज सेट बाई डोरिस ली सो वॉट हैपन्ड इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर पोम वॉज uh of course uh what the youngest of the runners had fallen down and what happened was the rest of them did not run what did they do they came back they stopped and they came back they lifted the runner up the youngest one up right the youngest athlete up and then they together held their hands and unitedly they crossed the finishing line right guys the race was reduced to uh, the race was reduced to a walk but it was definitely the, the event was really spectacular okay and they truly deserved the gold medal so each one of them had gold medals had been awarded gold medals right each of them were awarded the gold medals and they were truly truly deserve uh, deserve and they they actually it was a special olympics and they actually made it special in the true sense of the term right guys so what do we see here we see empathy empathy is when we, when somebody actually places himself or herself in the shoes of the other they could feel the pain the other athletes could actually feel the pain of the youngest one when he fell down and he thought that all his dreams were shattered remember in order to come to this olympics be it a special olympics or any olympic game very hard and rigorous training people have to go through a very rigorous process of training right and they have this goal of actually grabbing the medal right that's their goal that's their dream so the moment the youngest member fell down all his dreams were shattered and this was actually empathized by all the rest the rest of the athletes and what did they do they felt their they felt the pain of the young person uh, the young young athlete they came back and lifted him up and all of them together walked to the finishing line okay that definitely suggests the true sportsmanship and as we also could see this even in today's world even when we have so much competition but still we could see this in the recent tokyo olympics as well as i already narrated one such incident right brotherhood yes unity brotherhood is clearly evident cooperation and compassion yes guys so all these themes are present and true sportsmanship right guys so did you enjoy the poem and did you actually understand the theme could you relate this to the real life incidents the, uh, that is happening actually and the values that we get from these occurrences the positive it didn't it we did it actually arouse an aura of positivity around you did it create an aura of positivity around you yes guys so that is something which the poet is trying to tell us now there's a question for you guys there's a question for you the boy gave out a cry of dash and dash pain and frustration frustration and anguish despair and frustration anger and frustration if you have read the poem you will be able to answer it so come on people answers should come in the chat 3 2 1 super frustration and anguish why frustration because he he felt that all his dreams have been shattered anguish is pain okay so now we will come to the poetic devices and i will okay so first is obviously uh, excitement grew uh, high to begin personification because here excitement uh, human qualities have been attributed to excitement how can excitement grow high right so human qualities metonymy to run for the gold for the silver and bronze so gold silver bronze okay uh, that's that's metonymy right and then we have repetition the special olympics has been repeated metaphor poise for the sound of the gun sound of the gun is actually the start of the race and here alliteration stumbled staggered so you can see the s sound repeated at the beginning of the syllable 
question for you guys and lifted the lad to his feet. Come on, guys, which poetic device? Very simple. Oxymoron, simile, alliteration, or metaphor. Very, very simple, guys. Can you tell me in the chat, everyone? Could you identify the poetic device? Three, two, one, let's see. Yes, it is alliteration. Could you tell me where exactly is the alliteration? Yes, lifted the lad. L, L. L sound is repeated. Okay? Now we will be delving into the Q&A session. So let's read this extract out. He gave out a cry in frustration and anguish. His dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dirt. But as sure as I'm standing here telling the story, the same goes for what next occurred. The eight other runners pulled up on their heels. The ones who had trained for so long to compete. One by one, they all turned around and went back to help him and brought the young boy to his feet. So, compassion is more important than competition. Yes, because they had been trained to compete with each other. But what did they do? When the moment when the youngest member, the youngest athlete fell down, one by one they turned around and went to help him out. So, that is definitely showing compassion, which we already discussed in the theme. Right, guys? So question for you, what strange thing happened on the track? Very simple, guys. The nine athletes started running and suddenly one of, the, uh, one of them, the youngest of them fell down, right? Such incidents may happen sometimes. People forget because the focus is on the athlete who touches the finishing line before the others, right? That's the usual focus. So it is always the competition, okay? That is important in Olympics, right? Right, guys? Yes or no? In any sports for that matter. So, this is usual, right? This is the usual scenario. It's on the basis of the performance that they uh, get the honor. That is the gold medal. But as the poet says, in this Olympics, it was special. Why? Because the usual did not happen. Something unusual happened. What happened? When one of the athletes fell on the ground, the others, instead of running to the finishing line uh, with the spirit of competition, what did they do? They felt compassionate. They empathized. So, compassion happened here. Empathy happened here. Right? So, these are something which are very, very unusual, especially in the game. Uh, in a game where so, many, so much of training had been spent, uh, to grab the medals, right? And all of them joined hands, started walking rather than running to the finishing line. So they together completed the race. Okay, so this was something which was really, really spectacular. Question for you again. The Special Olympics became so special due to the display of true sportsmanship, leadership quality, empathy, cooperation, both A and C. Come on, people. Very simple question. Three, two, one. Let's quickly have a look at the answer. It is both true sportsmanship spirit and empathy and cooperation. Good job. Good job, everyone. Moving ahead. He gave out a cry in frustration and anguish. His dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dirt. But as sure as I'm standing here telling the story. Okay, the same thing, sorry. The same, same passage. Let's go to the next question. Four marks question, guys. Where were the other runners? Sorry, were the other runners selfish? Explain. Obviously, they were not. Not at all selfish, okay? They were a far cry. <laughs> okay, so they had stopped running on seeing the youngest runner. They helped him to get up. Get up and it was one of the prestigious events that the, uh, and the athlete who had won it, he would have been hailed as a hero. But what did the other athletes do? They preferred helping the fallen runner to winning the gold medal. This shows their generous nature. This shows their compassion. This also shows the true sportsmanship spirit. If they had been selfish, they would have continued to run. So they showed empathy. They showed cooperation. They also showed the true sportsmanship spirit. Question, guys, what's the meaning of the word poised? Severe mental or physical pain, smiling broadly, having a composed and self-assured manner, 
walk or move unsteadily as if about to fall come on vocabulary testing let's test your vocab come on people let me see how many of you can do this 3 2 1 let's quickly have a look having a composed and self assured manner is absolutely the correct answer okay so please note the meaning of the word poised okay it's, it means calm and composed okay so i would be ending the session with another beautiful incident that happened in the tokyo olympics and this is what we call the sportsmanship spirit when great britain players win hearts actually they won hearts as they consoled the heartbroken team india so you know if you have followed the hockey match um, the women's hockey this was what uh, this was what had happened in the match right so uh, when uh, uh, india couldn't we like yes uh, they they actually could not uh, win but obviously they were heartbroken but still what did the britain team players do they were consoling so this actually reveals the sportsmanship spirit so guys that is what we have learned in today's session and i'm sure guys all the incidents that we had talked about in the poem as well as the real life incidents which had happened in the olympics tokyo olympics they were really really heart touching apart from the spectacular victory of so many so many uh, people from india this is also something we should all focus on okay these are the values that we definitely should inculcate yes guys so victory is definitely important but apart uh, 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 you know apart from the victory we should also see this side of the game yes guys so with that can you riddle me this have you got the answer yes chalo let's quickly have a look at the answer guys it is the match stick so you are in the dark room with a box of matches obviously first you will light the match stick right and then you can light any of these three things so guys how did you enjoy the game uh, the riddle i hope you did right so this is your homework question describe the youngest among them okay please don't forget to post your answers in the comment section and guys if you want to have 100% knowledge and 100% marks what do you need to do guys you just need to visit the link in the description box pinned comment click on the link and don't forget to use the coupon code as wre pro you can avail the unlimited live classes with a uh, quiz questions in the class and all the doubts are going to be solved then and there okay so guys do visit the link and thank you so much for watching till then guys take care bye bye see you very soon in the next session bye bye